Okay, so the parts you see here makes up the torso unit, or the body unit, of the Master Grade Dark Hound. Cleaned up all the parts as you can see here, and I have it all in order based on the manual. So we're going to do go from, <clears throat> excuse me, from left to right. Grab the chair. Grab the pilot. Put it in like so. We have this part here. That you snap into place. It's designed to go up and down. I guess when it, when the, sh um, when the dark hound lands and in its strider mode, you can bring this down like this so the pilot can get out. Then we have this little poly cup here that goes under like so. So that's taken care of. Then we have this with these little two poly caps. The uh, the nubs on this. First things first, get them all in all the way, and make sure that the nubs are in this position. If you guys can see that, and then. in this position put this part here oh you know what don't go all the way in I'm sorry I should have saw that there's a little bit of space there so you can't jam it in all the way didn't realize that so you stick it in like so until it goes all the way in and then we'll put this one in like so like that so it looks like this can turn up and down. Now, this part goes in here, but there's like a, a notch. Hmm. The notch is, is a bit weird, but put that there. And then put that in here like so. Next up, we have this part that goes in here like so, followed by the red trim. Oh, I think, oh, I see the red trim goes under and over. Hmm, that's a bit unique. Then we have this part that goes in. To the front, and then through here. this one goes here in the back. Mm, I did it wrong. It's the opposite direction. Yes, there we go. Because I was wondering why this thing didn't go in all the way. Okay, so we have this part here that goes like that. Doesn't snap in. Let me see if I can force it. Yeah, it's all the way in. And we have this part. Goes like that in that position. And then that comes under like that. And then you want to put it under through here, I believe. Put this in here like so. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, I believe so. Just feels a little weird. Oh, I'll find out soon enough. Alright, so then we have this little part followed by this. Hang on. Ah. Oh, okay. So that one. Yee. Goes like that comes around like so 
then we have this part uh, there we go yeah, this is going to be really hard to work with if I ever had to paint this then this one goes in here if I can get it in there Got it right the first time, so why am I? <sighs> all right, what am I doing wrong? Everything's all clean here. I don't see no plastic excess plastic out there. Maybe I'm putting it wrong, but I'm gonna do a little bit of give it the old college try. could always use this. There we go. Now it went in. Pain the ass, but alright, it's in there. Alright, so we'll need uh, these two parts here. One goes to the side like so. Am I missing something? Oh, no. I thought I was missing something, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, wow. You can barely see any features on the red, but I guess that's how it is. Then we have the back part here. It goes like that. Oh, the... We have this part that goes there. Then the back part. Almost done with this, so take this part here, we take the polycap that goes there, then we have this little notch here that goes uh, facing down like that, and this part goes over it like that. So we have that there. We have this little part that goes here. Oh no. It goes the opposite direction. Then you have to flip it over once it's in. So you can put this part here. Like that. Then you put this one in here, like so, which, there we go, brings this neck up here. We have two of these little guys. Uh, one goes like that. The other one goes like that. And then this one goes like this. Wait a minute, how is this like that? Um, oh no, I'm sorry. This one goes here, then you turn to go like that. Oh, I see. And that one goes there, and then you turn like that to go here. Alright, so now these parts. One goes here. One goes there, we repeat. Then this one snaps in there, like so. It's a little loose, loosey goosey, but mm, reminds me of. You know what it reminds me of? Oh my god, is this right? 
Is this, is this supposed to be this loose? Am I missing something? I'll find out soon enough. So we put the trims here and here. And then the spoiler goes there. That was the one thing that I've always liked about the series. It came with a spoiler. Spoiler that didn't go right. There we go. There we go. So the torso of the Dark Hound is complete. Um, I don't know why this is a bit wobbly. Somebody explain this to me. Maybe I missed something. I know this one goes up and down. And the um, part here supposedly supposed to come down. I guess. Like that. But I don't know. This one comes up. Okay, this one comes up, and then this one comes, I believe, down, but I could be wrong. I'm not getting it. I guess I've had to review the manual a little bit and understand it during the transformation. But the torso is pretty cool. Um, I see parts that you can definitely sand off and paint during if you wanted to paint it, but it's pretty nice. All right, that completes the torso. Let's move on to the next part of the build. So the next part of the build will be the waste unit of the Dark Hound. And here are the parts that are required to build it. First we're going to take this, followed by this poly cap here. Slide it into there, like so. And, uh, take this, put this in like that. That's all you need to do for this. But, we go here. We take this unusual part. It's very unusual because, uh, just trying to see how it's in what position this thing is in. I believe it has to be like that. Then <clears throat> you take this. I think you guys slide it in through here. No the other way around. So it looks like this. You repeat it again for the other one. Like that. And then you take this part and you slide it in like so until it looks like like this. Let's try that with this one, of course. What did I do wrong? Oh, wait a minute. I believe this one goes through here. There we go. And then this turns like that. Ah, now it makes sense. There's a little, like, gui um, guide rail there. So, it's supposed to turn. Okay, now I understand. So we're going to go back to this. Keep it in this position. And then, ah. take this, I guess you put it in there, it doesn't, feels like it snaps into place. Maybe it needs this. I guess we have to hold it there. Alright, yeah, hold this here. Because we need this. Followed by this that has to be in this position. No. The round part goes on the inside. Then these square these pegs here. These pile of caps here goes here.
Come on. Ugh, the other one got in easily. Why can't you? There we go. I'm grabbing onto this. Holding it in. And then that goes in all the way. Followed by this part. That has to go right over this. Ah, uh, okay. So with these parts here, this holds this thing so I could turn. I could believe it's supposed to turn. Yeah, like that. Obviously, um, for the transformation of this kit. So this part is done. Now then, we take this, followed by this, put that here. We have that one here. Let's complete the other one. The crotch part that goes in there. Then this one goes in there, snaps into place. And this one has the ball joints which holds on to the front skirts easily. Like that. The last part, you'll need this on this side. Then this part here has to be reversed, so it looks like that. I was wondering where that part came from. All right, there we go. And then this one goes here. Like that. Then there are these two little parts. One goes there, the other one goes there. And you close it up. And you put it behind this. So it can go up and down. Now that is sweet. And of course it's um, unique for the fact that you have to have everything pushed in and hold up into place just to hold the actual part that supports the, um, the uh, what do you call it? the legs, and I guess you need that during transformation. Why doesn't it want to go in? I guess maybe because you gotta... Oh yeah, you gotta push it in all the way. Alright. Unique. Original. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's now move on to the next part of the belt.